Good morning my friends and welcome once again to Shaving with Rich. Today's shave is brought to you by an old classic tobacco. We'll be following that up with with of course the matching tobacco. This is eau de cologne but I think it's all the same stuff. And uh, the instrument of the day is my uh, aristocrat. And we'll be using once again the uh, 7 o'clock uh, black blade. This must be a newer, uh, has this the, the square port, so this is a newer aristocrat. Or, well, not as old, maybe. I've uh, already loaded my brush and uh, we're gonna have at it. After my experience with the elf balls last time and having a somewhat less than satisfactory lathering experience. I come back to Tabac, which is the old reliable, and uh, see if maybe I have just lost my lost my touch or something. And so far, I think we're okay. It's, this is an old standard. It lathers good. I like the way it smells. And uh, I like basically everything about tobacco. For the longest time, I don't know why, I got the idea that it's pronounced tayback. I guess that would be because, I don't know why, tobacco, I guess. <laughs> but it's got a nice, sheeny glint to it. I tend to load this a little drier than I ought to, I think. But it's still good stuff. Like how full that is and how shiny it goes on. Great day yesterday, it was in the 60s. We got the garage, had one side of the garage clear now. And uh, all summer we had throwing, throwing soap around. Uh, there was gonna be a garage sale and it just didn't go off. And so I had to, the, the uh, ping pong table set up in the garage and all kinds of stuff on it that we're going to get rid of and I'd been chewing away at getting rid of them because we didn't, we didn't have the sale but I couldn't put the table away because one of the byproducts of being on the look at that on my collar uh, my packs of, my pa uh, uh, byproducts of the CPAP machine is that my shoulder has gone out so my left shoulder, I can't move it much above here. and uh, So when I'm in the shower, I can't wash my shoulder with the left hand. I have to throw a rag over and kind of give it this. So I haven't been able to put that to table away. And yesterday, as we feared, it was going to be the last warm day of the summer, or the last we have one day of Indian summer, I guess we call it. Mommy and I decided it was our mission to get her car in the garage so that she wouldn't have to scrape in the morning. She still works, I do not. I don't think I don't enjoy telling her that. <laughs> um, so, it didn't take much, but... We got it all put away. And hallelujah, her car's in the garage. Just in time because it's raining today. 60 degrees yesterday and it's going to be like in the 40s today and in the 30s tomorrow. I guess our descent into winter is going to be a little quicker now than it had been. We were below average temperatures 
for most of November. You know, we had this little blurb of heat. And then along my nature is going right back to it. Probably have snow before the day's out. But it warmed the streets up yesterday, so none of it's going to stick, so it'll be safe to drive. We like that a lot. Trying to think about things that we can talk about today. I'm glad you came to visit me again for today, Shave. I was thinking about, once again, things that Dad and I did in my younger years. He had, when I was a, I guess in my teens, he really enjoyed this station wagon that we had at the time. It was a big old giant 1972, I think it was 72, 72 uh, Pontiac Grand Safari station wagon. I think it was a land yacht uh, and he drove it everywhere it had a big old motor in it and uh, as much as I hate to admit it his car was a lot faster than we gave it credit for my brother and I I had a 68 Camaro that I had gathered parts hither and yon put together and uh, my brother and I raced it on a little dirt track behind the house well it was actually a service road and it was it was paved but in the eighth mile because that was the only real straight section that we had that old wagon could out drag that Camaro because uh, Camaro had what I'd like to call freeway gears in it. The rear end was not geared for drag racing. I think if we'd gone a quarter mile, I might have had a chance. But from zero to 60, that old wagon was a ball of fire. We had a, we took it on a trip. My brother was in the Navy. Uh, he went to the Navy when I was uh, eighth grade, I think. That's before I went into high school. And uh, he loved Volkswagens. He had one with him in the Great Lakes Naval Station in Florida. And he got into an accident and rolled that thing. And I was coming into liking cars and dad was kind of a gearhead so we drove down to Florida to pull that Volkswagen back up to give me something to work on uh, being rolled isn't real good on body work for a Volkswagen but luckily there are plenty of Volkswagen at the time there were plenty of Volkswagen mechanics here in Newark We were able to buy a Volkswagen body, you know, rolling chassis, I think. And so from the, the big old, I think it was an oak tree, but it might have been a cherry tree behind the house, up next to the fence row. <laughs> Dad and I uh, separated the body halves of a Volkswagen. Volkswagen, the Beetle anyway had a floor pan and everything was attached to the floor pan and then you had a separate body that laid on top of it and had 12 bolts just around the edges of the floor pan that held everything together and then there was like two connections between the body and the, the body and the uh, floor or the 
I guess we'll call it the chassis. How about that? Just electrical connections. Once everything was bolted together, really easy. So we separated the one and then the other and rolled the rolled the working chassis under it and I reconnected them and uh, I had a Voila rust-free Volkswagen Beetle and uh, that was a great thing but get back to the main part of that story we were in Florida stopped at a U-Haul here in Orlando uh, to get a tow bar to pull that Volkswagen north. And the fellow working the counter uh, looked at Dad. Dad was getting the tow bar. He said, you can't tow a Volkswagen with that car. He just didn't gonna do it. It's not gonna work. And that kind of yanked my father's chain a little bit. And he actually got angry. One of the few times I've seen him get really well he wasn't angry as much as he was uh his feeling kind of got hurt he raised his voice a little bit and says i got 455 cubic inches out there says i can pull the front off your building if i can get a hold of it and uh i think that kind of convinced the well, that it was going to be okay. As I recall, the didn't have any trouble pulling that Volkswagen. It, it had plenty of power and a positive traction rear end because it had a what they called a towing package, so it means it had a uh, transmission cooler and uh, I don't know what all else goes with uh, heavy-duty uh, springs I think on the rear axle which is another story I'll tell you at another time uh, the spring story I'll write that down as a matter of fact because that's another really good story I'll put it down right here okay for you guys just starting out Another good thing for dry erase things is put notes on the window for your spring story. Um, when you're mapping your face or want notes or want to draw your your map of your whiskers, you can do it on the mirror with a dry erase marker if your wife will let you. Well, we didn't have any trouble pulling that Volkswagen back. I switched the bodies and I drove it pretty much all through high school. And then, well, there's another story with that too, but I think having one in advance is plenty good. Let me finish my cleaning up and I'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm in pretty good shape today. Everything is pretty smooth. I like, I really like the old uh, aristocrat. This one is. A pretty mild shaver works good for me very efficient and I always like the classic tobacco uh, I think everybody anybody who's done a lot of shaving has had an, uh, an encounter with tobacco some like it some don't I for one uh, like it it's a it's a classic in its time and I got the cologne as uh, using it as an aftershave I find I don't use very much of it, so it, this bottle's probably going to last me the rest of my life. It's, it's still pretty much full, and I got the bottle used. Uh, so a great shave today. We've entered into December. It's going to get real bumpy from here to the end of the end of the year. Everything's going to happen all at once, and so all you guys are and I are going to be so busy uh, I take uh, joy in having you guys come to visit me and my sharing my shaves maybe some stories with you and uh, hope you come back I've got more stories for you and obviously you can find me on the shavingcadre.com and uh, plenty of content there for us and uh, 
We'll see you on the pages. Bye-bye now.